Hey, what's up guys? Bearcat here, doing another exciting episode of Bearcat Reviews, and today we are taking a look at the DC Multiverse Target exclusive Flashpoint Batman figure from the McFarlane Multiverse line. And I gotta say, this is an amazing figure, guys. I've gotten a few of these McFarlane figures before. I haven't done a review on them yet. Um, but you will see them in this video, and if you want them reviewed, let me know. But I decided to do this one first because I really like the design of this figure, and I really liked how it worked. But as you can see here for the box, it shows this window, it shows Batman Flashpoint, it shows his weapons. And then front says down here, DC Multiverse Batman. The size says Batman here. In the back, you get a little picture here of the Multiverse Batman. And they do come with cards, and the picture on here is the picture of what the card will show. You'll see that later on, though. It says McFarlane Toys, and shows the other figures in the wave. It says on the side here, Batman Flashpoint version. And not much more at the bottom or at the top. So let's get to it and crack open Batman. And here we have Flashpoint Batman out of the packaging. And as you can see, this is, I gotta say, this is an amazing figure. Take a closer look at the designs here. You can see he's got these nice costumes. Looks exactly like it did in the Flashpoint book series. And as you can see, he's got this nice battle damage scuffing and scrape marks and dents in his armor here. And you can see he's got a little bit of the beard stubble going here. I don't know why they didn't give him the full beard since he had that in the show, but they, like the full beard goatee combo type thing, but uh, they decided just to do the chin here. Don't know why. That's definitely the only thing that irks me is just seeing it on just the chin. Kind of looks weird, but otherwise, take a look and his head sculpt looks amazing. Looks just like Flashpoint Batman. Same with the cape here. It's made of this nice rubbery material, so it's easy to move around. As you can see, same with the holsters, so you don't have to worry about them ripping off and they're separated here, so you don't have to worry about that for articulation-wise. And as you can see, just all around, just a nice looking figure. Definitely looks exactly like it did in the uh, Flashpoint books and different games and movies and such. Not so much the games, I guess the game was a little different. But uh, moving along, we'll go to his accessories. He comes with the classic DC stand. That they all come with and it can just peg right here onto the peg holes at the bottom of his feet and you just peg him peg it in like so and then he can stand on that little stand and use that stand he comes with a little trading card they all come with and on the back you get a little data file about flashpoint batman and if you want to read it you can pause it right now and this is what the artwork is on the front which is really nice artwork. And the last accessories are the ones that he's actually that you also use for the figure. It is what would be it wouldn't be Flashpoint Batman without his guns. And you can see it's these Desert Eagle looking guns. And they got this nice gray, black gray wash on it. And it looks like Exactly like those guns. And then they do have these little peg holes. And I try... Oop, there they are. Little holes in the barrels here. And I tried to see if I could put a Marvel Legends blasting effect on them. But it didn't really work well. But... As you can see though. You can put them in the holsters like so. Just slide it right in here. See? Let me remove his little stand. You can just slide them right in here. Or you can also... Put them in his hands and he will hold them if i can do it real quick for you guys on camera just slide it in and there you go see you can hold them so i gotta say this is i am happy with this considering one of the last uh figures i got from the multiverse line that had a gun it did not come out of the holster and i hate when figures do that where they come with guns that don't come out of holsters so i was very happy that they uh that you can do that with this Batman. But otherwise, take a look at his articulation. His head's on a ball joint here, so you get some side to side, a little bit of tiltage, and he can look up that far, which isn't very far, and down that far. So for arms, he can rotate 360, except for the fact that the cape is in a way, so it moves up like this. And if you move the cape back, you can move back that far. He's got some butterfly joints up in here. Some circular butterfly joints. He's also got bicep swivel. Double joint elbows. There we go. 
wrists move up and down, and if you rotate them, they can move side to side, depending on how you rotate the uh, wrist joint. Uh, he has two, I won't, don't remember if it's like like ball joints of diaphragm here and at the baseline of his waist here, so you can see he can move back, lose that little hole there, but he can rotate here or at the base here, and you got it's a little tight that you can see there. It rotates down there too. So there's that. And then for his legs, he can spread his legs that far. Kick forward that much. Back not at all. He has double jointed knees. No thigh rotation. Ankles do move up and down. He does have ankle pivot. And he's got a toe bend. And that's really it for the articulation for the Flashpoint Batman figure. So we'll get him set up for the size comparisons. So here is the Flashpoint Batman, ready for the size comparisons. And as you can see, with the scale DC Multiverse figures are in, from the bottom of his feet to the top of his head, he stands a little over 7 inches tall. Which makes sense since they are in 7 inch scale. But for your size comparisons, here he is to our last figure review, the Star Wars Clone Wars Black Series Cad Bane figure. So you can see how they scale together. Here he is next to a, a another DC Multiverse figure, the Batman Arkham Origins Deathstroke figure. Whoop, as he falls down. There we go. So you can see how they scale together. Here he is next to the DC Multiverse Green Arrow figure from the CW's Green Arrow show. Or the Arrow show, excuse me. So you can see how they scale together. And last but not least, for your basic six inch scales comparison, here he is next to the Star Wars The Clone Wars Black Series Captain Rex figure. So you can see how they scale together. And here is Batman in a gun toting pose. And I gotta say, guys, this is an amazing figure. Uh, I highly recommend getting this figure. I will remind you, he is a Target exclusive for now, from what I've heard. He was going to be a Target exclusive for a limited time, and then they were going to do a mass release of him. Um, but I don't know if that information is right or not. But I did see he was on sale currently at Target for seventeen dollars, so or seventeen ninety nine, excuse me. So if you do want to get him, you can get him from there. Um, but anyways, guys, I was going to say thank you again for watching the video. Uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought of the video, and let me know if there's figures you want to see reviewed, and I will try and get them and review them for you guys. Um, also, let me know if you guys want to see more reviews of the DC Multiverse line, because I do have two more I can review that I haven't reviewed yet, because I didn't know if you guys would want to see those or not. I, this is kind of the test start one, and I have another one that I've got coming later on next month that I pre-ordered that I will also be um, that I will also review when it comes out. So. Uh, let me guys know if you want to see more of these after that. But uh, other than that, I do want to say I highly recommend this figure. Uh, and if you want to get him, like I said, right now the only place I know is selling them is Target. But uh, other than that, I want to thank you guys again for watching this video. And I'll catch you guys on the next exciting episode of Bearcat Reviews.